from a point of view of mechanism and theory and uh, and I'm a, I'm a pretty strict mechanist. I ask how, I don't ask why, because I'm not smart enough to answer why. But I can ask you, you know, we can make this into a math question. Are there any unifying principles to pattern formation in nature? And the theme that I'm going to talk about today is what I call dynamic instability. And that's this idea that, that, that most biological systems that we look at are dynamical systems, and there, there are certain states that are trivial, and those become unstable under certain circumstances, giving rise to, to patterns. So the first type of patterns I'll talk about are patterns in time. And I'm going to have you guys do um, some experiments. I'm going to talk a little bit about flickering of fireflies shortly. Okay, fireflies are always are dear to my heart for one reason. It's the um, state insect of Pennsylvania, uh, Pennsylvania, uh, uh, Phoporus pennsylvanicus. Uh, it's also one of the only exa known examples of successful where flashing actually attracts females. Okay, this doesn't <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't happen. I, I, <laughs> as well as it does for fireflies. Okay. Now, um, the, the particular insect I'm going to talk about is Teroptix molucki. Um, he is a, a, a small insect that produces a, a, a flash about once per second, and this is a single insect. Uh, this is just you know holding up a light sensor. You can see his little flash there, and this is a whole bush of them. And you can see they're really well synchronized. I mean, these guys, the, the, the shape of this is almost the same as an individual. Um, now, you don't see these fireflies. These fireflies are seen in Southeast Asia. You don't see them so much in the States. Although in the Great Smoky Mountains, there is a species of fireflies that do flash synchronously. Uh, we, have more, we have pretty interesting insects, fireflies, in the US um, and Pennsylvania. There's a number of species that imitate the flashes of other species. So when the males go to get laid, they get eaten. Um, <laughs> and those are called femme fatale fireflies for obvious reasons. Okay. So another example are bodily rhythms. And a, a, a great example are animal gates. And often I'll have people come up and join hands and do animal gates, but I'm not going to ask you to do that. I'm going to ask you to do an experiment in a minute. But um, animal gates, for example, there's um, a trot. You've probably seen, or a, if, if you have a dog, does anybody here have a horse? Uh, some of you, yes, this is Virginia, right? Don't you have horses in Virginia? Okay, look, well, if you don't have a horse or a goat, maybe you have a, a, a Texas, you got a longhorn. Um, okay, but you know, if you have a dog, your dog does the same thing. If you walk your dog, he, he does a walk. You know, a walk is a very specific, um, there, there's, you can see the left and right and hind, um, back and forth um, hind legs. They alternate in, um, in a walk is a, about a 20, 100 and, um, pi, over, um, pi over two cycle. So each foot comes down exactly a quarter cycle, all right? And a trot, is the two diagonal guys going together, okay? And then there's other things like gallops and rotary gallops that are more complicated. Uh, the best known, uh, or one of my favorite ones is the, the you, you only see it in cartoons, is Pepe Le Pew, okay? Have you ever heard of him? He's a skunk, okay? And Pepe Le Pew walks like this, <laughs> and that's called a prompt. Actually, some antelopes do that. So. Those are examples of rhythms, and in fact, here's the experiment I want you to do. You will switch dynamically from one rhythm to another as you try and go faster. So you can tap your fingers in anti-phase, syncopation, and as you go faster and faster, you will spontaneously switch to a synchronous gait, okay? And there's a reason for that that, that well, there's not really known what the reason is, physiologically, but it's suspected that what happens is the 
out of phase state becomes unstable. So that's an example of what I mean by dynamic instability. But another other types of oscillations that you probably have heard of, you've heard of fibrillation, that's a nasty, uh, you know, you have a whole heart attack there and you die. Uh, EEG, some of you guys have probably heard of EEG, you put the things on your head. Uh, you might not be aware of this, but uh, at every moment in time, the small arteries and small veins, or small arteries, arterioles, in your, um, uh, in your vascular system are also undergoing slow oscillations. All right? And then, I, I don't think I have any up here. My favorite thing, I got started in oscillations thinking about rhythms in the colon. Okay. <laughs> 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 kind of crappy job, but um, <laughs> somebody has to do it. 